This is a five alarm fire and we cannot wait to respond. We will fight until hell freezes over and then we will fight on the ice. We won't go back! All politics is local. That's a truism often reiterated when an issue has pushed American political life to white heat. But not anymore. I'll start with the babyest of the babyest of the baby steps. Because for progressives running the Democratic Party, all politics is national. Open abortion clinics on federal That's lands right. and red states right now. Right now. The modern American left lives in a world only of outcomes they design. Abortion on demand, guns banned, fossil fuels eliminated. If they don't get it, they head to the streets. If you want to take to the streets and shut down business as usual, do that. Following the protest in the wake of the Supreme Court's Dobbs decision, one almost forgets the closely reasoned and detailed opinion by Justice Alito with concurrences by Justices Kavanaugh and Thomas. I refuse to go backwards. But who cares about details like that anymore? We don't care if people die. Ever since a draft of Justice Alito's opinion was leaked, sidewalk protesters besieged his and Justice Kavanaugh's homes while a high fence rings the Supreme Court building. When Roe came out, we didn't burn down the Capitol as conservatives. We didn't go to liberal justices' homes and try to intimidate them. For now, we're going to focus on two statements in Justice Alito's decision that take the discussion past abortion, if that's possible. The opinion quotes from Justice Scalia's dissent in Casey, the successor decision to Roe, in which Roe, Scalia writes, destroyed the compromises of the past, rendered compromise impossible for the future, and required the entire issue to be resolved uniformly at the national level. Justice Alito goes on to describe what Roe did to the country's social cohesion, describing how Roe sparked a national controversy that has embittered our political culture for a half century. That is, Roe v. Wade started America's culture wars. The culture wars was a term created by conservatives to describe the conflict that developed post-Roe between traditional beliefs and progressive heterodoxy. The left generally brushes off such suggestions as obsessive right-wing politics, as they did in Virginia last year. We don't have time to be wasting on these phony, trumped-up culture wars. But a stark irony sits in the middle of this week's uproar. Obergfell versus Hodges. That is the court's 2015 decision recognizing the legal legitimacy of gay marriage. Many Americans disagreed with it. It rendered irrelevant and ignored the voices of thousands of Americans. But it was accepted. No fence went up around the court. Scalia's concerns about the death of compromise looked premature. But within months of Obergfell, the transgender rights issue erupted, focusing, incredible in retrospect, on bathroom access. This is the gender-inclusive bathroom that I just established uh, with my school. Despite Obergfell's promising and welcome modus vivendi, the culture war reignited, extending more recently even to children. Gender-affirming care is life-saving, medically necessary, age appropriate and a critical tool for health care providers. Not the church, not the state, women must decide their pay. Public protests are a part of politics in any free country, a First Amendment right repeatedly affirmed by the out of favor Supreme Court. But the average American voter must be wondering whether the Democratic Party's politics is about anything other than activism. The thing that a lot of people don't like to talk about is the fact that not every Democrat is pro-choice, okay? So the ones that aren't, we really need to reassess if it's appropriate for them to continue to serve in 2022. This now constant style of bullhorn politics with its shaken fists and denunciations of normal deliberation and process is defining the public's image of who the Democrats are. You see this turn out here? You ain't seen nothing yet. Come November, I expect most voters will elect not to live in a state of constant political rage and moral chaos. The hell with the Supreme Court. We will be out by the thousands. We will be out by the millions. We're going to make sure we fight for the right to control our own bodies. Thank you. Hello, everybody.